The Overload strategy is a team building concept that is the meat of a lot of offensive teams in competitive Pokemon. When you think of synergy, you think of the typical fire, water, grass core, where each type covers each other perfectly. The Overload strategy does the exact opposite. It stacks multiple Pokemon with similar types all on one team. But why? The idea is to overwhelm your opponent. Maybe they have a grass type that can deal with your water type. But can that grass type take on two water type Pokemon? What about three? And what happens if that grass type faints? Does your opponent's team have something else that can take on multiple water types? Probably not. The point of the overload strategy is to concentrate all your attack at one integral part of your opponent's defensive structure. And once you can crack that, you can blitz through the rest of the team. This is best explained with examples. Here, I am using a double overload strategy with two grass types and two offensive flying types, Halucha and Tornadus. The critical part of my opponent's structure is the Zapdos, whose electric and flying types match up well versus my team. However, if that Zapdos can be removed somehow, then he has nothing left to stop all of my offensive power. Here, I use Hyper Beam Tornadus to lure and remove the Zapdos, and then Tornadus faints immediately after. On the surface, it looks like an even one-to-one -one trade, but it's a lot more than that because the one he lost was the most important part of his defensive structure. Now Halucha and Rillaboom and Kartana have a much easier time attacking. This team also has superpower Rillaboom plus Kartana. Rillaboom can concentrate its power to break through Ferrothorn. Even if Rillaboom ends up getting heavily crippled by Thunder Wave or Iron Barb's recoil, it's worth it because I have the second grass type waiting to attack once Ferrothorn gets removed. The asymmetry of the trades are what make the strategy good. You can trade one whole Pokemon just for chip damage if it means it's enough for the second or third Pokemon to break through. And if you'll notice, my opponent is using an overload strategy himself. He is using Specs, Heatran, and Blacephalon. Here, his Specs Heatran weakens my Tapu Fini a lot. Even though he loses Heatran for just 60% of damage, that trade is worth it because it means he can break through my water type and Blacephalon can try to clean up. Overload cores have existed for generations. One popular old example is Electric Spam in Generation 2 with Raikou and Zapdos. Raikou and Zapdos can both run different hidden powers to threaten ground types, and they can keep throwing powerful electric attacks into Snorlax until they break through. A common strategy in Generation 7 is Rain, with Mega Swampert, Ash Greninja, and sometimes Manaphy. All these powerful Rain attackers on one team can eventually overwhelm even the best grass types. Another strategy is Tapu Lele plus Mega Alakazam. Tapu Lele is brutal as it is, with strong psychic attacks and focus blast. Once Tapu Lele is done, Alakazam comes in to continue the pain, this time versus a team whose steel types should be weakened and with Tapu Lele's psychic terrain. Dragon Spam is popular in Generation 5 where there are no fairy types. Spamming Outrage with multiple dragons will eventually break through the steel type. Even if it costs a few Pokemon to do so, the last dragon can finish the game off because there's no counter anymore. There is one big weakness for the overload strategy. Because you are using the same types repeatedly, that becomes a defensive liability. You have to make sure you're the one attacking because you're not going to have a good time defending if a lot of your Pokemon have the same type. Simply put, an offensive team style has to be played offensively. What do you think of the idea? Do you prefer the traditional fire, water, grass style of synergy? Or do you prefer the overload style of synergy? Or maybe you've never tried it before and want to try it now. Whatever it is, let me know down in the comments below.